Assalamu alaikum. I'm Dr. Ahmed, working in healthcare system Oman. Today, I brought you a very informative video about Emory exam. I've already uploaded up to two videos on Emory exam, but there were a lot of queries regarding whether you need OET or OIDS for the Emory exam, whether you need internship for Emory exam, or uh, any other queries like when to start study, how much time it is required to study and prepare for Emory exam and what type of questions or study material you need to ace the, this exam. So today I will be explaining all these queries in detail. First of all, uh, what is the Emory exam? Emory exam is actually Amrit Medical Residency Entrance Exam. So if you pass this exam, you, can, you are eligible to enter into a medical residency program in UAE, like in Dubai, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, or any other four or five states of UAE. The major modalities or specialties you can uh, enter into the UAE are internal medicine, gynecology, anesthesiology, and pediatrics. There are other modalities as well, but the major seats or chunk of seats is in these uh, fields. Uh, there are total 120 MCQs, and you have three hours of time to attempt those MCQs. What kind of questions are there in the AMRI exam? So, the questions are usually uh, long stem type questions and these are the scenario based question and at the end of the question you will be asked what will be your next step, what is the best investigation, how will you manage the patient. So this will these are totally clinical and clinical based questions and you need to understand the diagnosis, you need to understand the management plan, you need to understand what are the basic and uh, major investigations you need to do uh, to uh, manage that patient? So, uh, like uh, it's almost almost like USMLE questions, or maybe if you have uh, prepared for the PLABS, the questions are almost the similar. Uh, what is the percentage you required to pass this exam? Is fifty five percent, but obviously fifty five percent is not enough to get a match uh, in a residency program. So you need to to uh, you know shoot for the higher scores like 80 85 percent how can you prepare this exam and how much time you required to prepare this exam so the ideal time to prepare for this exam is three months okay but people can uh, prepare it in two weeks as well if the people who have already studied for usmle or for plabs they can attempt and they can prepare for this exam in just two weeks two to three weeks because the knowledge is the same what books are required to pass this exam so if you see the list on their website the the list is very long obviously your all the textbooks are uh, davidson la belle and love for surgery and many other larger books are written there you cannot even read the list so uh, the main point is to prepare this exam through uh, usmle books or maybe your plab books those will cover all your knowledge all your uh, uh, you know question types uh, they gave in the exam and also there are few past mcqs there is a past mcq pool you can study from there as well to understand what kind of questions are there in this exam the link of the telegram group and the whatsapp group for uh, the past paper mcqs of emory exam i will share the link in the uh, description of this video you can go and check it out there, there is a very less window of your booking the exam and then uh, the date of the exam. So uh, in, if, if you talk about USMLE or any other exam, you, you can book that exam like MRCP, you can book that exam three to four months before uh, you uh, before appearing into the exam. But for this exam, there is a very short window of period between the booking date and the exam. For example, this exam is from December to March. And always, always when they open the booking, it's it ranges from one to three days okay one to three or four days during which time period you can book the exam and they can stop the booking whenever they have the desired seats uh, filled so for example let me give you a, an example if you want to give the exam in january the january like 25th okay there is an exam date in january 25th 2025 so you want to book the ex that exam you cannot book that exam beforehand only maybe five to six days before there will be a window of uh, booking the exam uh, like around uh, maybe 16th of january okay 
it will start 8 am on 16th of january and it will end on uh, uh, like 20th january 12 uh, am 12 pm so my point is there will be a very short window of period for booking the exam and after that the date of the exam so well, what does that tell you it tells you that you need to start preparing your exam three months before like this is the high time the september you will study in september october november and december then you can uh, you know apply and book the exam in january so th this this was the major uh, differences point between usmle labs and canadian exam or any other exam for that matter like mrcp as well next question is do you need toefl oet or iris for this exam the answer is no you don't need to give oet toefl or ielts exam uh, to to appear in this exam okay but when you pass this exam and you want to apply a residency in different states of the uae like dubai sharjah abu dhabi all those states have different uh, you know requirements for the for entry into the uh, residency program some of them uh, may require ielts or oet but usually they don't require ielts or oet and if you have studied all the your mbbs course in english you, you just have to provide the proof from your administration that you all of your course was in english then you will be exempted from ielts oet or it comes later when you apply for residency match so for every exam you don't need to appear for toefl oet or any other ielts exam what are the requirements uh, to appear in the exam first first requirement is your passport obviously your passport site for uh, recent photograph and uh, another thing is your degree if you have passed mbbs exam they will need your degree to register on your on their website and if you are you are in a final year student you, you can also give exam in your final year mbbs but at that time you will need a proof or a document that you are a final year mbbs student in that institution from the principal or dean of that college okay so you will be eligible to sit in the exam now for further details you can always visit their website and then going on the right website is the key here okay so the right website link and uh, link is in description go to that website for any further information for a proper and uh, you know true information because if you uh, write like emory exam and there will be a lot of websites pop on your window which are not actually the true websites and they will give you very they may give you false information as well so the website name is you can go to this website there are a lot of uh, you know uh, faqs like frequently asked questions uh, there will be a, a window for the upcoming uh, examinations like because at this moment there are no upcoming examination they have shown on the website but it will start from december december to march so if you want to appear in the exam in 2025 you need to start studying now this is the time okay it means before booking the exam you need to do, do two things first prepare for your exam second arrange your visa because uh, after booking there will be no not a much time time window between the exam and your booking dates okay as I, as i have already told you that if you book the exam for 25th of january you're gonna have to book it around one week before so th there will be very less time in between to arrange a visa and to study so these two things you should start doing now as we are i hope you understand and if you have any other query you can ask uh, in the comment section and please uh, subscribe this video like and share to other people so that more people may know about this pathway as well because uh, there are a lot of medical students who want to pursue their career abroad from india pakistan and south asia thank you so much